But we're ready, man. We're about to do our first radio interview. Y'all ready? Are y'all nervous? Are y'all excited? Like, how y'all feeling? Nervous? Yeah, you guys scary, you guys. <laughs> She's so scared. Stop. No, no, no. Oh my God, no, no, gotta no. go on the stage. No. I'm not going. Phantom Squad. Load it up, Carl. You know I really love you, you're my family. Carl Paul. Always having fun, you know what's up with me. We got a new addition to the family. family. Two turned up, we do it happily. happily. We going up and ain't no stopping yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're turning up, 10 squad, we're turning up. We going up, 10 squad, we're going up. We're turning up, 10 squad, we're turning up. We going up, 10 squad, we're going up. Yeah. Carl Paul. Carl Paul. What up, Panton Gang? We are back with another new video on the way. You guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. Put God first in each and everything that you do. It's a new day. We are up bright and, we're well, not even bright and early. It's still dark right now, so. <laughs> we're up real early right now, man. We're gonna take y'all with us. We are heading to Atlanta um, for the You Will Win conference. If y'all live in the Atlanta area, make sure y'all are there, man. It's about to be super lit, you know what I'm saying? But it's bright and early, man. Y'all come with us. We are packing at like 3.30. We woke up at like 3.30 today, a.m. And we got everything packed. We're just waiting on everybody else. But we got Gurley right here. Hey, guys. How was your sleep? Did you get any? Yeah, it was good. How was yours? It was all right. I, did, I barely got sleep. Same. So we got my boy DJ right there. So guys, our parents flew in. They're here right now. Their flight got delayed so late last night. It was like the enemy was like, you know, trying to stop us, stop us from trying to go. So they didn't get here till 12 a.m. No, we got, yeah. They didn't get to the airport until like 12 a.m. I had to go pick them up around 12 something in the morning. Uh, that's how late their flight got delayed. So we was like, damn, we probably not gonna go because our flight is at six in the morning, you know what I'm saying? So I went, I got them. We didn't get back here till one o'clock in the morning. And then I took a, a nap and I was up at 3.30. I'm ready, DJ's ready. So that's how our morning is starting, man. But y'all are coming with us. Bryson and Brielle, they're, they're not coming with us. They're, I don't think they're ready to travel yet, but we about to head out now, man. We got to get everything on the, everything going. My mom again, man. Shout out to my mom. I don't really care for mangoes, but Melinda loves mangoes. So my mom, she she brought some for her. She got all these mangoes from Melinda. So Melinda's a happy camper, but we're late. So I got to try to rush the guys, you guys. We'll see you in a little bit. What's up, Panthers girl? What's up, Panthers gang? It's your girl, Melinda. You guys, I know Bay started the vlog, y'all. It's super early. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning, you guys. We have a really early flight. We have a 6 o'clock flight. This is like our earliest flight that we've ever been on. And we're like so tired. We're like super nervous. Um, I haven't flew in a minute. The last time I, I, I was on the plane was um, when we went to New York. Um, we haven't really been traveling because I was pregnant and we got uh, a newborn so we just been home chilling but um you, you guys are basically gonna just travel with us today be with us and we're gonna bring you guys along I hope everybody is having a great day a great summer so far um Bay is here Bay is super nervous Bay doesn't like early flights but we're gonna be okay um we're excited we can't wait to get to our destination we're going to a conference a you will win conference and um we're so excited i can't wait to see everybody there um so if you're not subscribed to our channel make sure you like comment subscribe all of that good stuff because we be dropping lit bangers on this channel and um yeah so we will see you guys when we get to the airport. Peace. Alright, Panton Gang. So we just parked the car on Beijing Valley. We're headed to um, inside. We've never been to this airport. We, it's our first time flying out of this airport. Y'all, the lighting is really bad. Let me try to fix the camera. Alright guys, so 
We just got checked in. So now we're about to go through the whole bag of, uh, what do you call that? TSA stuff. We're about to go through that. Y'all ready? Yeah, you look beautiful. Yeah, you look really beautiful. Thank you, you look good. We looking real good in the morning, y'all. But um, so, it's a lot of people here. I didn't think it was gonna be a lot of people here this early, but I guess a lot of people flying early. So we, it's a lot of people here. I'm gonna sleep on the plane. I'm gonna try to sleep. So yeah, I'm a little nervous, guys. I do not like flying early in the morning. It's our first time ever flying so early. But, well, all right, gang, so we're about to go. We'll see y'all, uh, I guess, on the plane. All right, guys, so I almost got left, man. I'm by myself right now. My boarding pass was scanned. So they had to pull me to the side while everybody else was boarding the plane. And they was telling Melinda them to get on the plane, but I made it. They had to print out a new one. So we'll see y'all in Atlanta. All right, guys, so we made it to Atlanta. We got our baggage. We're waiting on our ride to come now. They about to pull up on us. How was the flight to y'all? It was good. I was sleeping the whole entire time. You slept the whole time? DJ, you slept. Well, DJ was kind of sitting close to me. Oh, yeah. Tell them who you saw. Oh, I saw Saucy Santana in the Auntie Anne's line. I was walking, and I saucy. turned around, and I looked, and I was like, he looks familiar. And then I looked back again, and I was like, oh, that's Saucy Santana. Uh, DJ, you saw him too? He was like, but I don't know what he was doing, but. Well, one thing I will say is the weather is a lot better here. Yeah, it's nice and cool. Houston right now will be, we'll be burning up right now. It's real cool right now. But yeah, we're waiting on our ride. All right, you guys. Look at our ride right here. You know what I'm saying? In the Denali. Big car. Morning. Morning, morning. How you doing? Don. Don, Don pleasure to meet you, Johnny. Don. Yeah, Don. DJ, yes. pleasure to meet you. Melinda, <laughs> Alright, thank you man, appreciate it. Alright guys, so we're about to head to our hotel, man. About to be a little bit. Who's calling me right now? How's the no caller ID calling me? I don't know. Uh, thank you, sir. Alright guys, so we got at the Ritz. You look real nice in here. Where is Yaya? Yeah, yeah. Where? Oh. Is this hotel have a pool? <laughs> DJ, you always talking about swimming, bro. We didn't come here for swimming, but I'm pretty sure they do have a pool. Could we it? Did you bring some trunks? You growing up, boy? That boy got a zit on his face. Hold on, that, is this why you're trying to keep the hoodie on? Let me see. All right, thank you. That boy got a zit. Crater face? Yeah, hold on, let me, can I get it? Look at the zit. He is growing up, y'all. He's getting his preteen age. Virus, yeah. All right, Panton gang. So we are inside the hotel right now, man. It is looking lovely. So here's the first room right here, which is the uh, the bath guest bathroom, I guess, or the second bathroom. So we got a tub in here. You know what I'm saying, of course, you got a toilet. And you got a little mirror too, man. Looking good. So this is as soon as you walk in to the left, then to the right. We got another mirror, we got some lights, whatever. And then we got a fridge in here with a key. So you gotta have a key to open it. Lock that thing, got some little drinks in here. And then what is over here? I don't even know what's up. Oh, we got a coffee maker and stuff. Is that a microwave? Oh no, I don't see no microwave. All right, so you got that stuff over here. The kids over here, we are real tired, man. It's still early in the morning, but this is a, um, Sofa bath. You know how we do it? You just so take the side at the front to call them no commando. Oh, okay. And then we got a nice little TV over here. Well, you know what we watch tonight? Oh, SWAT? SWAT. We love SWAT. Well, there's, there's some other stuff we could watch too. So we're on the 16th floor right now. So you can look out. We, can, we, we way up there, y'all. I don't know. That hotel right there, that thing is huge. That's a hotel? Yeah. You want to go? Nah, I really like this hotel. You brought these from home? Yeah. Y'all don't know some bananas. <laughs> Alright, so we about to go eat, but here go another room right here. Is this glass? Oh wow, that's cool. So here go our room, me and Bay room, which is where we're gonna be spending some time at. You know what I'm saying? We got a TV over here. Oh, I didn't even realize we had this. Is there anything in here? Let me see. Okay, 
because there's some closing space. Got a safe right there. Got another view over here. We got a, our own little um, sofa. I don't know, does this fold out too? Uh, we still got we got a nice view over here as well. So we didn't even know what room they booked us, but I, this hotel is really nice. Yeah, dude, we got the uh, Rich Carlton, and then oh, we got more. Oh, dang, we got the double door to the bathroom, babe. So we got two closets. We got this one and this one over here, and then they gave us some um, some little shoes too to wear too, babe. I brought. Okay, and then here's the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? We got a little hot tub, me and Bake can hang out in chill. Yeah, so we got a little hot tub right here. We can um, hang out right here. Bay already got her little accessories right there. Girls, y'all be, be like covering up the whole thing. No, we because, need two things. So you guys, this morning I woke up so early, I didn't get to curl my hair. And the heat in Houston had my leave out, like puffed out, like in the beginning That'd of the be vlog. Hot. It was like, so I was trying to fix my hair. So you like the weather hair a little better? You got a toilet hair. You cannot leave home without these, bro. Oh, you brought that? Yes, I have to have these when I go out. All right, and then we got a little shower. You know what I'm saying? Not, it's not, it ain't little, it ain't little about it. I'm just saying, it's a nice little shower. So. We about to go eat. Yeah, we, I'm we so hungry. hungry. Yeah, I, I, eat. I ain't eat nothing, y'all. I just um, have some you know, um, piece of cookie. Has me they have a Haitian restaurant right here. All right, well, we're gonna, we probably try that later. Oh, DJ said he wanna eat at Sugar Factory. So we'll see um, what we can do. We got a radio, factory? huh? There's a Sugar Factory. You wanna go there tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. There's a, um, so we got a driver too, man. So this driver, he seemed pretty cool. So we could hit him up and go wherever we need to, you know what I'm saying? Huh? He'll take us wherever we need to. But um, <clears throat> we gotta head out, babe. Let's go. We hungry. So we might we might do Sugar Factory tonight. I don't, I don't know. Oh yeah, but we got a radio interview to do. They're gonna be interviewing us. Yeah, we're doing a, a radio interview. I'm kind of nervous. Yeah, we're kind of nervous. We haven't done a radio interview. I don't know. We don't know nothing about it. They just said be there today. We're gonna go eat. Then we gotta come back and change. Get the keys, babe. Where's the key? Y'all don't have the keys. Why she got? She's the one that lose her her brain if it was outside her head. <laughs> Where's the key? She's over there. Yeah, every time, every time we ask for the charger, you like, I don't know. Anyway. He's not. Yeah, his DJ your head almost bigger than Yaya's. And you still have the biggest head in the house, so. Mmm, so funny. Oh, he got cool points. Hey, you got get both keys. I just, we just need one, babe. I don't know. Yaya had both of them. I don't know if she lost the other one. You got the key. I only have one. See, I told you she's going to lose stuff. I only have I one key. I gave you the mom. thing with the No, I grabbed one And we're supposed to have Wi-Fi on it. All right, guys. You can't be, don't be talking to these people hallways like that. All right, so we're about to head to the restaurant here. Try out the food. And, oh, they got another view. What's over here? What is over here? What's that? Come on, come on, let's go. All right, guys. So, find out the breakfast is actually closed. So, basically, she's seen the restaurant outside. So, we're gonna go try it out. But we're ready, man. We're about to do our first radio interview. Y'all ready? Are y'all nervous? Are y'all excited? Like, how y'all feeling? Nervous? Y'all did everything before. Y'all been on Nickelodeon, Disney, Cartoon Network. Y'all ready? A radio interview is like. So what was more nervous, this or being on Nickelodeon? Being on Nickelodeon. Oh. <laughs> oh, so then that means she's gonna be real nervous then. All right, so our driver should be here. Oh, there he go, our driver's already here. We're about to step out, you guys. Watch your step. Yeah, come with us to Atlanta, through Atlanta. DJ, when you get in the car, try to shake your All right, guys, so we just pulled up. Y'all ready? DJ, you looking fly, bro. You looking handsome. You gonna be a problem in middle school. <laughs> yeah, boy. You a sleeping? You gonna be a problem, you guys. But um, we here, man. We you gonna be a problem, bro. You know, you have no, you gonna have like a lot of girls wanna talk to you. 
heading to the back door, man. They sneaking us in, bro. They sneaking us in. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because she's seen the stage, we gotta go on. Are we gonna go on the stage? Yeah. And do what? We gotta. We're gonna do a challenge or a prank? No. I'm just playing. Oh, so we're in the green room. They got some food. All right, thank you. Oh, yeah. All right, and you guys good? Yeah, we're good. All right, Thank you. Okay. Hi, how you doing? I see y'all went straight to the food. We're good. How you doing? Y'all yeah, went straight for the food, yeah. bro. Right. Okay. You just left the whole job. I'm going to try something, though. All right, guys. We're in a different spot right now. Yes, sir. Y'all are scary, you guys. <laughs> She's so scared. Stop. No, no, no. Oh my God. no, no. You gotta go on the stage. No, I'm not going. You're not going? I have to. I'm here. You're scared, DJ? Hmm? Alright, look at that. Nice. Go get your own. Yeah, that's, why didn't y'all bring water? Okay, oh, you could do that. I get a little makeup here. So we're gonna prepare her. Let me hold the camera while I go on stage. So. So they're gonna call me out. I'm gonna come out. Like, what up, what up, what up? All right, you guys know what I'm saying? You gotta give guys praise, man. You know what I'm saying? God first in everything that you do. Um, I got my family, I got my beautiful family here. You know what I'm saying? It's about to be lit. What y'all wanna do? What kind of challenges y'all wanna do? Y'all got Bible trivia. What y'all wanna do, man? Y'all wanna see us dance? You, you, you can't do that. <laughs> you just blew me off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. I don't know what we're gonna do, y'all. We'll be back with us. Atlanta's Inspiration Station Praise 1025 Nico hanging out right here on Ja'Kalen Carr's Family Affair. And uh, we are at You Will Win 2023. And we are joined by a family that is actually about to hit the panel stage. I'm talking about the Patton family. How are y'all feeling? We're feeling good. How you feeling, man? I'm feeling amazing, man. I, I know I'm excited for y'all because I believe y'all have some things that y'all are gonna share and help other families. Y'all actually blew up on social media, correct? How did that happen? Uh, well, our daughter right yeah, here. Our daughter so right. she's the brainchild, right? Yeah. So you the one got them here, huh? Yeah, she <laughs> wanted both? to do social media. Since she was a little kid, she was like so obsessed with YouTube. That's what she wanted to do. Yeah, they both wanted us to do YouTube. Yeah. In about 2016, but we actually started in 2017 because I didn't want to do it, but they got us in the studio. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. What exactly do y'all do for those who aren't familiar with what the Patton family does? Uh, we do we do YouTube, we do family vlogs, family challenges, family pranks, and, stuff. and we, we travel together and stuff like that. Just have fun, man. I love it, man. I love it. Mom, so what is your role in all this? Are you the coordinator? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm wearing many hats. Um, we've been doing this for a long time. It's really fun. And I just love the fact that I get to do it with my family. Um, we get to grow together all while putting God first because um, we're really into building our relationship with Christ. And we're just so blessed that we get to do this with each other. We're basically living our dreams. Um, this is what we do for a living. And we're blessed and we're thankful. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Y'all got to get here if you haven't. Get here, uh, we are at the Georgia International Convention Center 2000 Concourse. And uh, listen, the Patton family about to hit the panel stage at 2.30. So get here for Winnie and family. Let's praise. <laughs> All right guys, so we just did the radio interview, but we are live here. You will win tour, right? Well, not tour, conference. Right now with the Kevin Car, man, she invited us. It's super dope, super lit. I hope, if you guys are in Atlanta, I hope you guys are here, but if you're here, I hope you guys tuned in on the radio station 102.5, you know what I'm saying? We're nervous right here. Man, you did good though, baby. Thank you. You did good too. Yeah. You didn't do nothing, bro. I'm yes, I did. I'm just I'm... playing. I'm just playing. Oh, come on, let's go to the back. All right, so we're about to go back to the green room. I'm just supposed to, to go on stage food. at 2.30. What time is it? Yeah, 2.30. 2 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna get some shit. You're scared. Alright guys, so we heading to the stage. Yeah, yeah, it's nervous. Alrighty guys, next up, winning in family with the Phantom Squad. Let's go. We are about to go higher in this conference. Let me get everybody standing to your feet. Our host is getting ready to come up. I hope you will win 2023. Y'all are going to win He's here with us. We're going to allow you to take a few moments to introduce yourselves individually and all that good stuff. <laughs> Hi, I'm Soraya. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Melinda Panton. Um, I'm DJ Panton. And I'm Donald Panton. All right, so that's obviously the father, the mother, and then you have the kids. So we welcome you again to You Will Win 23. Um, I, the first question I want to ask you, either one of you can answer this. What does winning in family mean to you? All right, so winning in family, obviously you gotta have God first. We put God first with everything we do. So without Him, we are nothing. That's what I always tell my family. With Him, we can do everything. So if He's in the middle, He's in the midst of everything, you can always start by winning that way. And we just try to do everything together. We love on each other. When we are down, we pick each other up. We love all of, um, everything we, that we do. We do it together. So we just try to keep those family cords together. I love it. And since you're speaking, um, I have a question for you, uh, Dad Don. Um, you know, we know the enemy doesn't like family. He doesn't like unity, right? You know that, right? But you all have been able to um, navigate through whatever it is. Um, your journey has been interesting, and I'm pretty sure there's been highs and lows. However, your family has been able to keep those values. How important is it to make sure that despite what you go through on your journey, you stick together, you push together, you fight together, all that stuff? It is very important. Like, family is, is, is the key. So we, we, there are times where it is, it's, if you have low moments, you know, you get into uh, stuff with your family members and stuff. But we always fight through it. We, I know, like, growing up that level without my dad, one of the things I always wanted to do was to keep a family. Like, I wanted, when I have a wife, yeah. like, so I always fight through any of it. Wrap it up for that, y'all. <laughs> now, I got a question. Have you all always been on YouTube? How did the journey start for you? Uh, so we started YouTube 2017, um, and it started with our kids. Our kids, in 2016, they always wanted us to do YouTube. They'll take our phones, like, Dad, can we just watch YouTube on the phone? I would always just let them take our phones, but I wouldn't want to do it. They always like, let's do it, let's do it. And then eventually the situation happened in 2017, and Melinda was like, you know what, Don, let's just try it. Mm -hmm. And we, we tried it and it took off from there. Yeah. One of the biggest things that has been said is that most families can't work together. However, it is a liar, amen? Um, it is a lie because we do have some positive examples, positive families out there that is showing us that it is possible. Um, Melinda, I wanna ask you, like, what are some of the things that you feel that you all do to make sure that y'all continue to work together uh, to win in your family? We have fun. That's yes. like the most important thing to us. Like, we know that our kids, they're still kids, even though we do YouTube, we don't want that to just be their life. So we just let them be normal kids. We let them have fun. We let them enjoy themselves. We let them express themselves. And we know they're gonna make mistakes, but that's why we're here to always support them and lift them up no matter what. I'm like the biggest cheerleader when it comes to my children. And I just love them. And I just want them to know like they will always have me no matter what. And I feel like that's why we work so good together. We've been doing this for so many years because of our work-life balance. We do YouTube, but then when we turn off the camera, we're still a regular family. We love watching movies together, traveling together, just laughing, 
and I, I feel like that's why it works because we're not always like so serious. Right. We have fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. You actually, that was my next question because <laughs> I think it's very important. One of the things that I love about my family, for those of you who don't know, my family and I, we work together and it's been that way for years, right? And one of the things I will always hear my dad say is when we're at the business table, we're handling business. But when we're together as a family, we're together as a family. So you got to make sure that you keep that balance and making sure, above all, nothing should become more uh, priority over your family's relationship. Leading into this right here, um, there are conflicts that families face. There are things, situations that we face. And a lot of people feel like, you know, I'll just brush over it. You know, we're just gonna keep on coming together, having cookouts as if nothing is happening. No, I, I have the type of family that if there's an issue, work it out. And then we go and we eat barbecue. So how important is it for you to work out issues, to stop, address it, don't keep moving, you know, to make sure that you continue to win in your relationships with your family? Yeah, so, um... One of the things I always do with me and Melinda whenever we get into arguments or disagreements, I always try to like make sure we resolve the issue before we go to bed. Sometimes she might not want to talk to me and stuff, but I know how to make her laugh. I know how to like put a smile on her face to just get her to accept like you know what, what I'm saying and then we'll talk it out, we'll hash it out. So we always just try to make sure we deal with any issues we have before we go to bed. Yeah, I love it. You want to add to that? Yeah, like no family's perfect. We have we have our ups and downs, but we just ride it out with each other. Um, it's hard. We actually have four kids. We have two little ones at home, so we have a big family with like a big age gap. So I just recently had a baby, so we're getting used to having a newborn. So I have a 15 year old and a newborn, and it comes with a lot of stress. So we're just trying to like um, hang in there starting all over again with um, babies in the house. And we're just really supportive. They help out a lot. And my husband, he, he's the best dad ever. He helps me. And I just feel blessed that I have him and I have the kids. And I feel like that's how we resolve um, conflict because we have each other, we hear each other out, um, we listen to each other. Even with our kids, they know they can talk to us. You know how some kids, they feel scared like they can't come to their parents we don't raise our children to be like that we want our kids to feel comfortable no matter what they can talk to us and whatever conflict they're having they don't have to go to anyone else we'll try to resolve it at home for them yeah i love it how important is your faith when it comes to winning in your family and on your journey our faith is everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. everything because um, without God, we would not be here. I owe him all the yeah. praise in the world because um, I've been through so much in my life and I'm here by the grace of God. And I'm just so thankful um, for everything that he's done for my family. Just for, I don't want to get emotional. But just like um, from like where he's brought us. So my faith is everything. I love it. You want to add to that? Yeah, the same, same with her. Um, my faith is everything with God, man. Like, I like what I see what He did in her life. I see what He did in my life, man. Even with our kids, like everything, He just works out everything. There's times we like in the past we was like worried or whatnot, and we pray, and He answered, He delivers, and He He's right on time. We might think He's late, but He comes right on time in the moment, man, and He just delivers. Yeah, come on, yes, give God praise for that. What it sounds like to me is you guys are very carefully raping generational curses. I love that you know you raise your children based So um we read Psalms 91 every day with the children. Um and even like if we're busy, like if they're at school, I'll text them like a reminder, like make sure you guys read Psalm 91 because it's a crazy world out here. And I always tell my kids like, the enemy is out to kill, steal, and destroy. Make sure you're reading your Bible. Um, and to be honest, like our faith journey has been really hard because we've always been in our faith, but I feel like we straight away, we were like, lukewarm Christians 
And me and my husband, we both got convicted. And we was just like, we don't want to have the platform that we have, and we're just using it for self-gain. So that's why we changed everything. We got closer to God, and um, we just started talking about God more, reading our Bible more, going back to church. And ever since then, we've been like transformed, like God has been working on us. And um, it's just been amazing, but it's not easy because it comes with a lot of spiritual warfare. So that's why um, ever since I got close to the God, I've been getting attacked by the enemy. Like the devil is busy, but my God is busy. So. <laughs> Amen. And one thing that we have to God is not only breaking it over you, but you're about to step into generational blessings. I declare in the name of Jesus that whatever the devil thought would be the end of your story, God said, my soul. I just need you to take about 10 seconds to open up your mouth and give God a my soul praise. DJ, you ain't say not a lick of word. Really. <laughs> you didn't even lick your lips. Bro. I did lick my lips. <laughs> that's that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> he was shy. Not too much on my DJ, okay? Not too much. He was shy. <laughs> yeah, but it was cool though, man. Now he's DJ, you're young, so you know what I'm saying. You're gonna get used to stuff like that. We're gonna do more things. Yeah, I said two words. Yeah, I said yeah. They said, "What's your?" She name? just said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was panting. <laughs> or Soraya panting." I thought, she said, yeah, yeah. no, she said Soraya. Yeah. And then yeah, she yeah. shot out her uh, Instagram. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so, um, but it was good though. The dad told me, I was like, I don't know it. But he didn't want to say it. He didn't I don't know, know it. DJ, you be giving it to all them little girls in the in No, I don't. I don't even know I don't. You do know it. But anyways, man, y'all comment down below what y'all thought about that um, interview, what we just did on the stage. <laughs> All right, Pants and Gang, the conference was amazing. We're tired, but I just want to thank her for inviting us. We had such a great time. No problem. Thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. I'm happy y'all enjoyed yourselves. Y'all are so great. Such genuine people. Aww. The genuineness they show you on camera is literally who they are. It's actually better. Like, I just warm heart, and I thank y'all for coming. So many people love y'all too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we can't wait for the next conference. Yeah. We we gotta be there. It was amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I was so welcome. Yeah, y'all was. Yeah, I need to show them your dress though. Oh, your dress, y'all. Look at this. Get into it. I had to take off my hair. Yes, honey. Yes, baby wear. New baby wear. <laughs> thank you. You're so welcome. Alright, Panting Gang, we 
are back home, man. Back to Houston, Texas, man. We made it back safely, man. The flight was real good. The flight, both times we, when we left and when we came back, the flight was really smooth, man. It was really good. I actually slept this time, but thank you guys for tuning in, man. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it changes a lot of you guys' life, man. I pray that you guys give your life to Christ, man. Give your life to Christ. We sin every day. We need a savior. God gave us his only begotten son to save us. Oh, I got to call real quick. I'll call him back. All right, so give your life to Christ, man. Let him help you turn your life around. Turn away from your sins. Repent, man. Confess your sins to God, and he will accept you. He will love you. That's all you got to do. You don't have to do great works. You don't have to go jump off a building to prove your life. You don't got to do nothing crazy is what I'm saying. Actually, you just give your life to him. And you receive free salvation. Oh. What is that? Full turn on. But anyways, you guys, to Kaylin Carr, shout out to her, man, her family. They treated us so well, you guys. They actually like treated us. They treated us like royalty, y'all. Like we, we, we're just regular people, just like you guys. But they showed us major love. Alan Carr, her dad, her mom was. They were so like. They treated us so well, man. They were so good to us, man. And I really appreciate it. To see like people actually pour into us. This we're just this small family. They poured into us, man. We always be pouring into people. And for someone to do it to us, it just felt amazing. Like it felt good. And God's opening new doors, man. He's he's doing things behind the scenes, man. And I pray that you guys give your life to Christ, man. If all I could just get y'all to do is just pray to him, give give your life to him. I'm a happy camper, man. But anyways, thank you all for tuning in, man. Thank you to Kaylin Carr and your family for bringing us along, man. We really enjoyed this experience. It was amazing. Y'all church setup was crazy. We didn't vlog the church scenes. We, we just was going there to just worship and praise God. And that's what we was doing, man. I don't know if y'all seen it. Some people was recording it on Snapchat. Uh, not Snapchat, on like Instagram and stuff. If y'all seen it, man, y'all wouldn't want to miss that. So hopefully next time y'all join in next time. But we love y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. Put God first. We out panting in peace. They always show me love cause it's my family, my family Pet and squad, yeah we go hard 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 Yeah we go hard, yeah, we go hard. Yeah, we go hard. For the family